So, what are your impressions about Turkey and coffee for Muslims? Okay, so I love Turkey, um, and I especially love Istanbul. Um, I come here probably once every two or three years, and it's always one of my favorite trips in my schedule. Um, partly because I just think the people are so lovely, and also I really love ancient cities on hills. So for me, it's a perfect place to be. And I love CoFuture. I haven't been to CoFuture before, and there is an amazing energy and buzz to this event. I love it. It's really informal, and it just feels that there are lots of people going and connecting and finding out about new things together. Um, so there's a great energy. I love it. Right. So what are the biggest challenges in media today? So we've got lots of challenges that we're facing today. Um, in the media business and actually in the marketing business overall. Um, lots of people talk about the challenges of disruption, uh, talk about, people talk about the challenges uh, 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 with engaging people in, in a world where there are so many choices. But I think the biggest challenge that we face is short-termism. Um, and what I see at the moment is more and more money is going into very short-term communication uh, solutions which are driving short-term sales and they're doing that at the detriment of long-term brand building. Um, I understand why it's happening. It, it's happening because all the data is sales data so it's easy to prove that that's the way to be. So I think we need to get much much better at understanding how to measure the impact of brand building on short-term sales and then understanding how to produce brilliant work that enables us to drive brands but also to drive sales at the same time. So, how do you see the future? So for me the future is a bright and exciting one providing we can get through the next six months. Um, I'm really interested in a re-emergence of creativity and of creativity taking new shapes. Um, I think that creativity is increasingly going to leave um, the, the remit of the creative team sitting, sitting in, in creative departments and become something which is much more democratised across people around the industry overall, where everybody has a, a, does a small piece of creativity within the expertism that they exist within. I absolutely don't see a future for communications which is run by enormous computers where there's no one left in the room um, apart from the guy who turns them on every morning. <laughs>